Hello everyone. Myself, Professor A.C. Zado, Department of Horticulture, KKWA College of Agriculture, Biotechnology, Nashik. Under the course Production Technology of Horticulture Crops, we are going to study the training and pruning in grape. Being the wine crop, training is essential for grape. Proper and the effective shape can be formed by choosing the appropriate training system, which facilitates economical maintenance of the vineyard and easiness in a cultural operation, such as a plant protection, pruning, and harvesting. Different systems of training are available in grapes, and the selection of the particular method depend upon the vigor of wine, varietal character, bearing habit, sunskull problem, earliness for other cultural operation, climatic condition, and also the capacity of the owner for investment. There are the different system of the training, in which mainly the head system, Niffen system, Bauer system, telephone system are included. Now, we are start with the Bauer system. Owing to the high productive potential, Bauer was a very popular system of training in past. It is highly suited for the vigorous variety like Anabe Shahi, Bangalore Blue and Gulabi. But in a varieties like Thompson Sidleys and Tashi Ganesh where the wine vigor and excessive foliage density affect the productivity adversely, this system is not popular. During the Bauer system practice, the wines are sprayed over the crisscross network of the wires usually 7 feet above the ground, supported by the peel, peeler, just like in the diagrams we can see here. Only the best growing shoot from the plant is allowed to grow upright along the stake provided up to the bore height. When the wine reaches the wire, it is again the pinch of 15 cm below the pendor level to facilitate production of the selected and allow to grow in opposite direction on the wire overhead. These two shoots develop into the primary arms. On each primary arms, three laterals are either side at the distance of 60 cm are kept as a secondary arms. This primary and secondary arms for the permanent framework form the permanent framework of the wine. We can observe that in this way, this bower system is considered as a pendol system in which the primary and the secondary arms are grow on these prepared pendol of the wire. Next important system is the telephone system. In a telephone system, the T-shaped railings and 3 to 4 numbers of wire is used. They are arranged in such a way that it look like a telephone wire. And that's why this system is named as a telephone system. The system is suitable for the moderately vigorous variety with more apical dominance. It is also an improvement over the bore system in respect of the ventilation and light penetration. So in this telephone system, wines are allowed to grow straight to the height of the 5 feet like shown in this diagram and then strain over an canopy of usually 3 to 4 wire fixed to the cross angle arms supported by the vertical pillars. After reaching the height of 5 feet, tip should be pinched off to encourage the side shoot close to the wire. Two vigorous side shoots are selected as a primary arms from which the four vigorous laterals on each side along the wires are allowed to develop on the secondary arms. So this is again one of the simple system of the training. There are again very important advantages of this system like a greater spread of the vine, better exposure of the foliage to the sun resulting in a better maturity of the cane, higher production can be obtained, more uniform bunches size than superior quality of the fruit free from the sun scald can be obtained then the wine in general gives more uniform performance. Disadvantages of this system 
like cost of establishment is higher the system is difficult to develop like the wine training needs a lot of skill and the effort bunches are not well exposure to the light as in an ifan system and not suitable for the wine making low to moderate growth the first system is an ifan system in this system the grape vines arms are tied to the horizontal wire at the same level above the ground this is suitable for the moderately vigorous variety with the less apical dominance during the practice of pot twisting two trellis of wire are struck supported by the vertical post as per the shown in this diagram the wine is strained so that it bear the four crane one along each wire and bear the shoot can hang freely in this system two wire are stretched horizontally at the height of 60 cm and 90 cm height as per the figure we can observe that this is the four trellis nifan system in which the two canes are at the height of the 60 cm and second another two canes at the height of 90 cm will be spread vines are planted at 2 to 4 meter distance between the two poles supported by the stick to allow the single to grow with one arm horizontally to either side so that each arm having with the result of four arms few of the main advantages of this system like this system is a cheaper when compared with the bore system it is good system for obtaining full crop on the vine the basal bud on the cane of which are sterile and which require the long cane breeding it is good for the small cluster variety which require the fruit thinning for imp- improve the quality the system allow a more lateral spread of the fruit bunches than the cordon system average yield are 10 to 15 kg vines when plant at the 3 by 3 meter spacing few of the disadvantages like the cultivation is possible in one way only the lower arm become unproductive after some years the arms produce fruiting wood mainly at extreme end only from the pruning point of view it is very difficult and extracting system since the retained fruiting units are very few they must be a perfect and the pruner have a thorough knowledge for their appropriate selection last system of pruning is a heap system this is again considered the cheapest and the easiest system compared with the other but it is rarely used under the cultivations in this systems the vines are trained like the dwarf bush in this system the vine is allowed to grow to the single stem with the help of stake after attaining the height of near about 3 feet plant is stopped and two lateral branches are encouraged to grow plant again top at the 4 feet 4 feet height by which the two and the more laterals are developed after keeping four laterals 4 feet above the ground in all direction the rest of shoots are thin out this in this way the system is considered to be very easy for operate but there are the few of the disadvantages relate with this system like the vine are slow to come to full production also increase the possibility of the bunch rot and the poor color also and the bud and the flower drop is considered to be the maximum by adopting this type of the system when the most important aspect is the pruning pruning refer to the judicious removal of any plant part with the view of diverting the sap flow towards the fruiting area the main advantages of the pruning are to increase the fruit quality and the productivity it again establish and maintain the desired wine shape the pruning can helpful to facilitate the various cultural operations again to distribute the proper amount of the bearing wood on the wine and the last like to get the consistent productivity in a grape in north india the pruning can be done only once in a year while in south india the pruning is done twice in a year 
in which once in a summer and again in a winter because grapevine in this region grow continuously without any dormancy due to the tropical climate all the queens in wine are pool like to the single node pool in april to develop the canes means after the harvest of our main fruit we will follow this april pruning practice which is considered the heavy pruning practice for developing the cane or the vegetative growth then after on the same vegetative growth or on the same cane we are forward the uh, we are forward the october or the november pruning practice which is mainly encourage the fruiting in a vine number of the nodes retained on the cane varies with the variety and the cane thickness while doing the april pruning zero to two birds on the arms are kept while doing the october pruning five to 10 birds on the pruning cane are kept the use of the hydrogen cyanamide is done to be have a early uniform and higher sprouting particularly after the winter pruning is made these are few of the diagram which represent the types of the pruning like in a first diagram we can observe that such type of the pruning practice we can follow during the april conditions which is considered again the hard type of the pruning in which we can retain only 0 to 2 number of the bud which can facilitate the vegetative growth on a cane and the second diagrams this is for your october pruning in october pruning we can rate the more number of bud it may be right from the 5 to 8 or the 10 so this can be facilitate the more fruiting area on a vine